What is up, YouTube? Knowledge here, bringing you guys a brand new guide on how to aim in Apex Legends on mouse and keyboard. And this guide keeps all skill levels in mind. So whether it's your first day on PC or you've had a PC for a while and already have your aim down and just want to bring it to that next expert level, this guide will help you. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video, not only to get aim training tips, but actually my full aim training routine for aim labs. And the training routine at the end of this video is tailored for Apex Legends, keeping in mind the movement within Apex and strafing, etc. So don't use just any random aim training guide you find. Make sure you use this one because it's designed specifically for Apex and situations that you will need to be in in Apex. The aiming within CSGO is not the same as within Apex. The player characters have different speeds. The player characters have different speeds on them. Player models are different sizes. There's literally minimal vertical movement when it comes to CSGO and Apex Legends is a totally different story. So bottom line, don't use just any aim training guide you find. Use the one within this video or another one designed specifically for Apex Legends. And of course, you know, I gotta ask for it. Make sure to smash that like button or the YouTube algorithm. That way other people can get help with their aim as well. And of course, that also helps me out. So let's get straight into it. This first part of the video might surprise a lot of people. One of the most important things to do with aiming is actually your posture, your mouse grip, and the distance away that you are from the monitor. And make sure you pay attention to this part that we're about to go through. This might seem boring or fundamental. I know it is, and that's why I put this in the video to tell you, hey, pay attention. Any aim training coach will tell you what, how are you sitting? What does your setup look like? They will want to know off the bat. Trust me. So listen to these principles all the way through. Make sure you get them, and then we'll get to the aim training routine. But you got to have the fundamentals forced. You got to <laughs> forced. You got to have the fundamentals first, just like Michael Jordan says. So if someone asked him how to get good at basketball, he would say, just keep to the fundamentals and grind them out. And here are some quick reference points to do with your mouse grip, the distance from your monitor, and also your chair height. Like I said earlier, there's no perfect way to grip your mouse or anything like that. You just want to make sure that every time that you grip your mouse, you're mimicking the same exact movement. Because when you practice your aim, it would be pointless to come back to the mouse and grip it a different way each time. Now, there are many different types of grips, but make sure every time you grip the mouse, you just grip it the same way, your thumb and pinky are in the same place, everything like that. The more detailed, the better. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're not expected to be perfect. <laughs> but this is a claw grip that you can use for your mouse. This is how I play. A lot of people play like this. Some people might use palm grip which is just where your hands are relaxed. It's on the mat, it's just relaxing. But make sure however you grip your mouse, you grip it the same way every time, whether you use claw grip or palm grip. And again, for a more detailed guide on figuring out your mouse grip, there will be videos in the description for you. Now the distance from your monitor is super simple. You want your monitor to be one arm length away. So from your from your arm, your fist should touch your screen. So if I put my arm out from where I'm sitting in my chair, it touches my screen. And that's your distance from your monitor. Now your chair height, again, some people play in, are playing on the couch. Some, Well, if you play on mouse and keyboard, you probably don't sit in the couch. But um, I understand everyone's situation is different. This is what's optimal. If you can't do it, it's not the end of the world. And... In reference to your chair, you want to make sure that your chair is high enough to where your elbow isn't slanted down like this and you're playing with your mouse like this over your desk and this is your desk right here. You don't want that. That's obviously horrible, but that's an exaggeration. Some people need that, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but what you want is just to have it flat. 90 degrees. You could flare it out. You'd have it in. Again, there's no perfect way to aim. Just whatever you're doing, make sure it's the same way. Make sure your arms like this, flat, not too, not too low, not too high, and make sure that your monitor height is also perfect. All right, and now that we got posture out of the way and all the fundamentals, we're going to be going to actually how you practice. Now, Apex Legends is a battle royale game. 
you do not get much time aim training in Apex Legends, unfortunately. More than other battle royales because it has a higher TTK. But think about it. You go, you loot some guns, you get maybe in a gunfight that lasts a minute, maybe another gunfight that lasts a minute, and then you die and you load into the next map. And maybe you get into more gunfights. But what I'm saying is, even if you have maybe four or five good gunfights a match, which would make it a really good match, you're probably having only a minute, maybe a minute and a half each engagement down sites. So that's like six minutes of training your aim and doing that. That's super inefficient in a battle royale. So we're going to use a third party program that can actually help us um, practice our aim 24 7 whenever we're on it if that makes sense basically if you're in a battle royale match on apex legends you're only aiming down sights and practicing aiming for as long as you're fighting somebody which typically isn't that mi- that long but using aim labs if we're on aim labs for 20 minutes all 20 minutes are spent aiming which just makes it way more efficient and all you guys have to do is download steam search up aim labs And now that we've booted up Aim Labs, I'm going to show you guys how to port over all of your Apex Legends sensitivity field of view and all that good stuff over to Aim Labs so you can actually train within Aim Labs and use the program properly. Please pay close attention because if you don't transfer these settings right, your training will be literally um, for nothing for the most part. Of course, something's better than nothing, but it could be way more efficient and really slow down your progress if you don't do this a step right. So make sure you go to options. After you go to options, click controls. Your game profile is going to be set to obviously the game we're playing, Apex Legends. Game units can be in game. Set the sensitivity to whatever your sensitivity is within Apex Legends. You can see that by going into the settings, obviously. The same field of view you have within Apex. By default, it's 90, um, but mine is 120. The ADS profile set to custom. And the ADS sensitivity within Apex is by default set to 1, but then again, it might be different for you guys. Uh, But by default, it's set to 1. You're pretty safe setting it to 1 unless you've gone out of your way to change your aim down sights sensitivity. Everything else you don't have to worry about. That is for um, like controller players, etc., etc. Just use these settings and practice within AM Labs. Now, on the screen, I should have some modules displaying. And as promised, this is the AIM Labs group team that I recommend do each of these modules four or five minutes, all the names displaying on screen. Just simply find these modules in AIM Labs, play them for five minutes with the settings that I taught you using the posture that I taught you as well. And do this every day and it will improve your AIM. This is true training. Grinding is the only way to get better. Good luck, guys. Thank you guys for watching my guide on how to improve your aim within Apex Legends. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you enjoy Apex Legends, definitely make sure to subscribe. We're going to be going hard dropping videos daily for the next month on improving within Apex Legends as well as gameplay as well. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and take care, YouTube.